Shabbat Shalom, and good evening, and welcome to all those who are here with us in the sanctuary at Beth Shalom Temple Center in Green Valley, those who are joining us at home or in uh, whichever uh, place you designate as your mikdash me'at, as your small, small sanctuary, we welcome all for Shabbat. Our worship service will be, uh, we invite you to follow along if you have a copy of Mishkan Tefillah, uh, the prayer book of the Reform Movement, and we'll announce the page numbers, etc. But even if you don't have the book, you should be able to follow along with the familiar prayers and hopefully as well with some of, some of the music. Our music is provided here in the sanctuary um, by our ad hoc choir, with all those who are, who are here, uh, as well as we blend in together uh, some YouTubes of music from around the, around the country and around the world, actually, uh, and that has become our tradition as well. The words of an opening song should be familiar to all, Hine Matovu Manaim Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. They're at the top of page 10. They come from the 133rd Psalm, top of page 10. Hine Matovu Manaim Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. Hine Matovu Manaim. Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. Hine Matohu Manahim. Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. Hine Matohu Manahim. Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. Hine Matohu Manahim. Shevet Achim Gam Yachad, Hine Matohu Manahim, Shevet Achim Gam Yachad, Hine Matohu, Shevet Achim Gam Yachad, Hine Matohu, Shevet Achim Gam Yachad, Hine matohu manahim, shevet achim gam yachad. Hine matohu manahim, shevet achim gam yachad. Our worship continues with the ritual to light and bless our Shabbat candles. Uh, you'll find that pages two and three in the prayer book. That will be followed by the Kiddush on page five. But on page page two, a blessing for the Shabbat candles. Lynn, thank you. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we by our lives give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light for our generation and for all humanity. The Kiddush, we sanctify the Shabbat wine on page five. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Peri HaGafen. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotav, Veratzavanu. The Shabbat could show be a hava of Ratson in Hilanu, Zikaron le maha severe he she, Kihu yom tahila, Lamikra he kodesh, Zeher litsihiahat me hits raim, Kivanu vacharta, 
ואותנו קידשת מכל העמים ושבת קודשך באהבה וברצון הנחלתנו ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש השבת אמן לחיים This is a reading prayer for Shabbat, an interpretation of the traditional psalms for Kabbalat Shabbat, for the Friday night, welcoming Shabbat, uh, based on the poetry of Yehuda HaLevi, medieval poet. Uh, and this is the translation as found in the uh, service of the heart Tfilat Halev, Avodat Halev, a prayer book of the liberal and progressive movements, Jewish movement of Great Britain. Lord, where shall I find you? Your glory fills all the world. Behold, I find you where the plowman breaks through the hard soil, where the quarryman explodes stone out of the hillside, where the miner digs metals out of the reluctant earth, where men earn their bread by the sweat of their brow. Among the lowly and the poor, the lowly, the lost, you, O God, are with them in blazing heat and in shattering storm. Behold, I find you in the mind free to sail by its own star, in words that spring from the depth of truth, where endeavor reaches undespairing for perfection, wherever men and women struggle for justice and freedom. Where the scientist toils to unravel the secrets of your world, where the poet makes beauty out of words, wherever noble deeds are done, behold, I find you. In the merry shouts of children at play, in a mother's lullaby as she rocks her baby in the cradle, in the sleep falling on its infant eyelids, and in the smile that dances eternally on sleeping lips. Behold, I find you. When dawn comes up golden bearing gifts, and in the fall of evening, bringing peace and rest from the western sea, in the joy that flows from heaven with morning light, in the current of life flowing day and night through all things, throbbing in my sinews and in the dust of the earth, in blades of grass beyond count, in every leaf and every flower. Behold, I find you. In the wealth of joys that quickly fade, in the pulse of the life that comes from eternity and dances in my own blood, in birth which renews the generations continually, and in death knocking on the doors of life. O oh God, give me the strength never to cast off one in need, never to bend the knee before a haughty tyrant. Give me strength to lift my spirit above the trivial, to bear lightly my joys and my sorrows, and in love to surrender all my strength to your will. For great are the gifts that you have given me, sky, and light, this my flesh, life, and the soul. These are treasures invaluable. They are the treasures of life and of love, and I celebrate them on Shabbat. We are joined on each Shabbat, our tradition tells us, by the Malachi HaSharet, the angels and the messengers of God's presence. We turn to page 24. This will be Debbie Friedman's interpretation of the Shalom Aleichem, song as we welcome the angels, the ministers on high, the ministering angels. We pray that they will come into our midst, our sanctuaries, our homes, our families, that they will bring us a sense of peace. We have on YouTube of Shalom Aleichem.
26 in the prayer book, page 26. Yidgada <laughs> Yehe shme rabba mivarach, leolam lol meo maya, yit barach, yit barach, the ishtabach, vit par vit romam vit nase, vit adar vit ale vit alal, shme kud shab rihu, leilamin kolbir chatav shihirata, tush bechatav nechemata, Daha mihiran bihalma, imeru, amen. On page 28, continuing page 28 with Baruch Hu, uh, those who are most comfortable, we invite you to rise. Baruch Hu et Adonai hamevorach. Baruch Adonai Hamivorach Leolam Vahed. The 
top of page 31. We pray together. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars, creator of the sun. You guide the into night as heaven spans to infinity. You set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hama Arim Arabim. Ahavat Olam, Beit Yisrael, Amchavta, Amchavta, Torah o mitzvot, Chukim o mishpatim, Otanu limadita, Otanu limadita. Al ken Adonai Eloheinu b'shoch beinu, uvkumeinu nasiach b'chukech, v'nismach b'divrei toratecha, uv'mitzvotecha le'olam v'ahel, ki heim chayeinu, v'yorech yameinu. Uvahem nege yomam valayla, nege yomam valayla. Ve'ahavatcha al tasir, mimenu le'olamim. Baruch atah Adonai, ohev amo Yisrael. Ohev Amo Yisrael, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Baruch Shem, Kevod Malchuto, Leolam Please be seated. Continuing with the words of Viahafta, the words from Deuteronomy from Parshat Devarim, page 36. Viahafta et Adonai Elohecha, Bechol Ravcha, Ubechol Nafshecha. Ubechol meodecha, vehayu hadvarim ha ele, asher anochi mitzavcha, hayom alvavecha, vishinanta ham levanecha, vedibarta baham, vishiftecha vavetecha, uvlechtecha vaderech. Uv shoch becha, uv kumecha, uv shartam leot al yadecha, veha yuletotafot, vein enecha, uv tabtam al mzuzot betecha, uvish arecha, leman tiskeru, vasitem et kol mitzvotai, vitem kedoshim leloechem. Ani Adonai Eloechem, Asher Hotseiti Etchem, Meeretz Mitzrayim, Liyot Lachem, Lelohim. Ani Adonai Eloechem, Emet. Responsively at the bottom of page 39. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace. Give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. Oh, High heavens declare your glory. Earth, reveal your from bondage in Egypt we were delivered. At Sinai we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, 
Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Mocha Baeli Madonna, Mihi Kamocha Nedar Bakodesh. No rate he lot, O say fele, no rate he lot, O say fele. Malchutecha Rauva Necha Bokea Yam. Livne Moshe Umiriam, Zeli Anuve Ameru, Adonai Him Loch, Adonai Him Loch, Leola Mevahe. Bene Emar, Kifada Adonai at Yaakov, Ugoalomi at Chazak Mimenu, Baruch at Adonai. Gal Yisrael. The top of page 43. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch Ata Adonai, HaPores Sukkot Shalom Aleinu, V'al Kol Amo Yisrael, V'al Yerushalayim. Baruch Ata, Ata Adonai, HaPores Sukkot Shalom, Shalom Aleinu, the Alcohol Amo Yisrael Baruch Ata Ata Adonai Hapores Sukkot Shalom Shalom Malenu The Alcohol Amo Yisrael The Al Yerushalayim the Hal Yerushalayim Shalom. The Hal Yerushalayim The Hal Yerushalayim Shalom. Baruch Ata, Ata Adonai, Hapores Sukkot Shalom, Shalom Malenu, Ve'al Kol Hamo Yisrael. The next page, Veshamru Vene Yisrael, Et HaShabbat. La Hasot et Hashabat le Dorotam Britolam. The Shamru Vene Israel et Hashabat. La Hasot et Hashabat le Dorotam Britolam. Veheni Huvein. Bene Israel, O Tile Olam, Tisheshet Yamim, Ashadonai, Asa Adonai, Et Hashamayim, Ve et Haaretz, Uvayom Hashvi, Shavat. Vayinafash 
Veshamru Bnei Yisrael Et HaShabbat Lasot Et HaShabbat Ledorotam Brit Olam Veshamru Bnei Yisrael Et HaShabbat. To continue with our tefillah, the central part of our worship service, we'll join in the first several pages chanting together, beginning on page 46, and then we'll, I will invite you to continue silently through the uh, specific pages that might be labeled as silent prayer. But pages 46 through 52, we will join together, and then from 53 or 54 on through page 62, we'll be silent. The uh, ark will be open. I invite you to rise, and we join together. Again, beginning on page 46. Adonai, sefatai tipach, ufia gite ilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips, that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe avoteinu vimoteinu. Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah. Elohe Rivka, Elohe Leia, Elohe Leia, Hail Gadol, Hagibor, Vehanora, Ele Helion, Gomel Hasadim Tobin, Vekone Hakol, Vizoher Hasea Vot Vimahot, Ume Gula, Libne Benehem, Leman Shemo, Vehaba, Melech Hoser, Moshea, Umage. Baruch atah Adonai, Magin Abraham, Vezrat Sarah. Atah Gibor Leolam Adonai, Mechaye HaKol Atah Rav Lehoshia. Mashiv HaRuach, Umorid HaGashem, Mechakel Chaim Bechesed, Mechaye HaKol Berachamim Rahim. Sohomech no flim verofe holim, Omati here asurim, Om kahayem emunato, Lishen neafar, Ichamocha val giburum, Omidaho melach, Melech me meet, Om kahayem, Omat me of Yeshua. Benemana tala hayot akol. Baruch ata adonai mechaye akol. Ata kadosh, veshimcha kadosh, uktoshim bechol yom yalalucha sela. Baruch ata adonai hael akadosh. Again, we continue privately, silently, either with the words of the prayer book continuing through page 62 or the thoughts and meditations of our own hearts. And with apologies to those who may be uh, watching or joining us in the colder climes, could I invite or in, please request someone to turn on the air conditioning? I'm kind of schwitzing up here. Thank you.
this should be the music of Debbie Friedman. <laughs>
of those who have been given to us on our Misha Beirach list. We think of them, we extend our prayers and our hands and our hearts on their behalf. We think of Chris Anderson, Les Baki, Harvey Bean, Sheila Berman, Nasima Bernhardt, Irene Case, Brian Clendenin, Joyce Cohn, Alan Delman, Heidi Demarest, Dennis Durante, Jerry Gale Feldman, Mark Feldman, Melissa Feldman and Nancy Feldman, Helene Fields, Lori Fly, Jeffrey Saul Gervan, Isabel Gonzalez, Kay Grass, Carl Herbst, Larry Hoffman Rosenfeld, John Halloran, Martin Hollander, Dawn Kitts, Aggie Klieger, Sharon Laws, Billy Lawson, Fred Legat, Dory Lessa, Michelle Matalon, George Morris, Tim Oreck, Bernie Pincus, Marley Pincus, Eric Rottenberg, Dory Roman, and Mel Roman, Tallulah Rose, Nancy Schwamm, Avraham Raphael Ben Shoshana, Lori Sherman, Lou Simon, Linda Smith, Ruth Stevens, Sherry Walk, and David Walpert. Are there others whose names anyone wishes to add? Join with them in prayers for healing and wholeness, Rafua and Shalemut. May the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Ah. Bless those in need of healing with Refua Shalema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit. And let us say, Ah. Pardon me for a moment of uh, housekeeping up here. Uh, I mentioned to those who are in the sanctuary uh, that I'm, I'm wearing a particular talit on this Shabbat, uh, and it's a talit that comes from uh, Ethiopia, from the Jewish communi community of Ethiopia, um, the uh, Beta Yisrael wearing it this week because that community observed one of their most important festivals this week, the festival known as Sigid. I'll explain it. Uh, we don't have any of their particular music because they don't necessarily like their music to be recorded. Uh, but sometime if you have the opportunity and if you do do the research, you might be able to find uh, not necessarily from the Beta Yisrael community, but you can find some uh, of the contemporary Jewish composers from around the world who have used the influence of the Ethiopian community, their, their style, their rhythms, uh, their syncopation. Uh, Mike knows what I'm talking about. 
and, and uh, they've used it a little bit for uh, uh, taking some traditional texts. For example, um, I, when, uh, there's, a, there's a young rabbi um, uh, now based in Toronto by the name of Noam Katz, uh, who has done uh, composed a lot of uh, a lot of music after having spent some time in Ethiopia and visiting the Jews up on the the hills in Gondar province um, and so for example with with his interpretation of the familiar song or phrase many of you will remember Am Yisrael Chai Od Avinu Chai the people of Israel live our Father Abraham, our mothers Sarah, Rebecca, they all, they all live, they live through us. And um, uh, when it becomes an Ethiopian uh, uh, song with those, with those words, it actually becomes a Ameh Yisrael Chaye. And with, there's a little bit of a different uh, in, interpretation. O Davinu Chaye. So I won't try to do it. Noam does it much better than I can. Uh, but if you do some research, you might be able to find it. Um, anyway, um, Sigid is uh, a holiday that is celebrated by the Beit Yisrael, the Israelite community uh, in Ethiopia, especially up in the mountains, Gondor province, that, uh, that uh, overlook uh, the capital of Addis Ababa. And you have to remember one thing about that community is that for centuries, they were isolated from the mainstream Jewish community. So we're going to anticipate for a moment that the next major holiday in our calendar is Purim. No, not true, right? We have Hanukkah in between, okay? All right. But the Ethiopians didn't know anything about Hanukkah because that came much later in the history. They didn't know anything about the Greeks or the Romans or what might be happening. They only knew that the temple had been destroyed in the days, the first temple, as they heard the story from, uh, from travelers, whatever, and that was their experience. They didn't know anything about necessarily the second, second temple. They didn't know anything certainly about the rabbinic literature and about the Talmud and all, and, and all of that. But if you think of Purim, remember that the word went out to all 127 provinces of King Ahasuerus, right? King Ahasuerus, who ruled from India in the east to Ethiopia in the west, which means that the Jewish community of Ethiopia, the Israelites of Ethiopia, were under the kingdom, the sovereignty of Ahasuerus. And what happened was the Jews in Ethiopia never heard the end of the story. They were never told that Esther and Mordechai had saved the Jews. The Jews of Ethiopia up in the mountains thought that they were the only Israelites left, that everyone else had been wiped out because of the edicts that were promoted by King Ahasuerus. And you remember the other guy's name who begins with an H, right? Okay, all right, we'll talk about him in a couple months, right? Okay, but so the Ethiopian Jews went through centuries thinking that they were the only Jews left. It wasn't until they had some visitors, finally, even before the state of Israel was established, but, but certainly after the state of Israel was established, they had, they had actual visitors who came and told them, no, not only, not only did Jews survive, not only were we saved, but we have returned and established a community in the promised land, and you're invited to come, come with us. And some of you may know some of the stories, especially of the, of the, the great airlifts of uh, you know, hundreds of Ethiopian Jews, the Beit Yisrael, who were, who were packed into El Al 747s and all the seats taken out and they're sitting on the floor and they're sitting, they're trying to light campfires uh, you know, and and it just and, and and it's amazing, amazing stories. But the 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 bottom line of all of this is that many, not all, there are still some who are in Ethiopia, but many of them have come now 
second and third generation living in, in Israel successfully. They have been uh, acculturated. They have been finally welcomed. There are Ethiopian Jewish Air Force pilots. There are, there, there's a representative in the, in, certainly in the Knesset, in the Israeli parliament. There are representatives of the state of Israel who come from Ethiopian backgrounds who represent Israel around the world as, on the ambassador, am, ambassadorial level. But anyway, this is, this is their, one of their most important holidays is Sigid, which, is, which was celebrated this past week on the 29th day of the Hebrew month of Cheshvan. We just, those of you who looked up in the sky saw that it was a new moon in the last couple days, okay? So we, it was the end of the month of Cheshvan, and that's the day that they celebrated. Why, you might ask, did I hear you ask why? Why? Because it's 50 days after, this is our, we're really looking at our calendar here, 50 days after Yom Kippur. It's been 50 days since Yom Kippur. Now, most of us from our community, not the Ethiopian community, most of us, if you know the number, remember the number 50, we celebrate Shavuot, the Feast of Weeks, 50 days after the beginning of Passover. We'll get there eventually, next spring, God willing. Okay. That's how we in our community, the modern community, I don't want to say Ashkenazi versus Sephardi, but the modern Jewish community, modern, going back 1,500, 1,800 years, we celebrate Shavuot on the 50th day after Pesach, after Passover. Okay. But the Ethiopian community, the Beta Yisrael, celebrate Sigid, the 50th day after Yom Kippur, and they mark that on the day as the day that God introduced himself, so to speak, to Moses at the burning bush. That's their, that's their tradition. That's their, that's their tradition. So here is what, uh, just a, a very quick summary of Sigid, as written by a woman whose name is, Bel I, I know I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly, Belenesh Zavadia, who was born and grew up in Ethiopia. Uh, she came to, uh, came to Israel in 1984. Um, she was the first of Ethiopian background to enter the Israeli Foreign Service. She worked at uh, Israeli consulate posts in the United States, in Houston and Chicago. She was appointed ambassador, Israel's ambassador to Ethiopia in 2012. And in 2016, she became the ambassador to Rwanda. Okay, so she now represents the, the, the community. Um, and this is what she wrote recently. Sigid is a holiday celebrated by the Beta Yisrael, the Ethiopian Jewish community, almost unknown to the rest of Jewry prior to the group's Aliyah to Israel. It falls on the 29th of the Hebrew month of Cheshvan, the 50th day after the Yom Kippur fast. The word Sigid is based on the Aramaic word Sagida, which is used to describe a form of of bowing in worship to God. The, the, the Yiddish might, might be shuckling, right? Some of you might know that. But their, their, their word in the Aramaic, word, the Aramaic term is segida. Uh, the holiday is also sometimes known, and this word will found, sound a little more familiar to us, mehalila, coming from the same word as hallelujah. Okay? Hallel is, is, is praise. Traditionally, the day is split into two parts, two uh, forms, if you will. There's a lengthy worship service that features prayers, supplication, and fasting. And then at the end of the fast, there's a, what we would call a breakfast, a festive meal 
at night. Ethiopian Jews cut off from the rest of the Jewish world and the oral law for centuries interpreted the biblical commandment, you shall count from the day after the Shabbat seven full weeks, and they interpret it to mean that that starts the day after Yom Kippur, because Yom Kippur is called in the Torah Shabbaton, it, it, the, the, the Sabbath of Sabbaths, so to speak. Whereas all other Jews count seven weeks called counting the Omer during the 49, 50 days that separate Passover and Shavuot. However, she continues, <coughs> pardon me, Sigid has other aspects to its observance as well, it's also a yearly reacceptance of the Torah, again, similar to what we in our community do on Shavuot with confirmation or affirmation and those kind of celebrates, celebrations. It is modeled after the reacceptance ceremony that was led by Ezra the scribe in the month, at the end of the month of Cheshvan. Uh, that's in the, in, the, in the Tanakh, in the Bible, in the book of Nehemiah. The Jews returned from Babylon to start building the second temple. There was a ceremony at that point, and they have modeled their observance of Sigid after that ceremony again, because they were cut off from what happened in history after that. So she concludes by, uh, with her own memory. We went up to the hill in the morning, fasting. We prayed, we said thank you to God, and we prayed next year in Jerusalem, now we celebrate here in Israel or wherever Israel sends us, is the way that, the, the way that, she, that she phrased it. So we do have a celebration, we acknowledge that uh, a, a very vital uh, and fascinating community of Jews in the 21st century, they observe their festival of Sigid. We will continue now with uh, our prayers of Alenu and then memorial prayers of Kaddish. The bottom of page 282, page 282, again, the ark will be open. I invite you to rise and we join in chanting together. Alenu <laughs> l'shabeach l'adon hakol La teknu la leotzer breishi, shelo asanu kigoye haratzot, velo hosamanu kemishpachot haadava, shelo sam chelkenu kahem, vigor aleinu kichol hamonam, vanachnu korim, umishkachabim umodim, liknein melech malche hamlachim, Hakadosh Baruch Hu 284. Shehu no teshamayim ve yosir ahares. Umoshav yakaro va shamayim imal. Ushkina tuzo, ushkina tuzo, begove meromi. U eloheinu eno. Emet malkeinu efesulato. Kaka hatu v'Torah hato v'Yadata hayom v'Yadata hayom v'Hashevota el levavecha ki Adonai hu ha'Elohim v'Shamayim imal ve'al ha'aretz ve'al ha'aretz mi'ikachat eno. 287, the top of the page. May we gain wisdom in our lives, overflowing like a river with understanding. Loved each of us for the peace we bring to others. May our deeds exceed our speech. May we never lift up our hands but to conquer fear and doubt and despair. Rise up like the sun, O God, over all humanity. Cause light to go forth over all the lands between the seas and light up the universe with the joy of wholeness of freedom and of peace. Amen. <laughs>
289, in nature's ebb and flow, God's eternal law abides. When tears dim our vision or grief clouds our understanding, we often lose sight of God's eternal plan, yet we know that growth and decay, life and death all reveal a divine purpose. God, who is our support in the struggles of life, is also our hope in death. We have set God before us. We shall not despair, our tradition teaches. In God's hands are the souls of all the living and the spirits of all flesh. Under God's protection we abide. By God's love are we comforted. O life of our life, soul of our soul, cause your light to shine into our hearts and fill our spirits with abiding trust in you. As a community, our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth. We remember our own loved ones and those whom our friends and neighbors have lost. The martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, they died al Kiddush Hashem in the sanctification of God's name. Innocent victims of senseless acts of hatred and terrorism around the world. Victims of natural disasters victims of the pandemic that affects so many around the world, those who have given their lives in the service of forces of decency and democracy, those of every race and nation whose lives have truly been a blessing to humanity. We remember them. We meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and death. We think of loved ones whom whom death has recently taken from us during this past week, this past month. Especially we honor the memories of Norman Clapman, Joel Jack Kramer, and Shmuel Shaham ben Hanoch. We honor the memories of those who died at this season in years past. We draw them into our hearts with our own, especially in this marking their, their passing within the last 11 months, as well as those, the anniversary of whose death, their Yortzeit, we will observe in the weeks to come. We remember Jessica Baki and Ralph Block, Sarah Deitch, Terry Freed, Marion Friedman, Jeannie Gordon, Michelle Kohana, Werner Lawson, Isaac Richard Mayo, Janelle Mitchell, Jim Mardinley, Faye Starr, Bud Stein, Stephen Weig, Yetta Weston, Alan Winfield, and Loretta Ziegelman, as well as Charles Feldman, Gertrude Feldman, Morty Fuhrer, Helen Gross, Bernard Konikoff, Benjamin D. Levitt, Morton Levy, Jim Libby, Joseph Lowe, Jack Rabin, Rose Simon, and Minnie Sommer. Are there others whose names you wish to add to our memorial list this week? Zichronam Livracha, may their memories truly be for a blessing and a source of inspiration, strength, and love for all of us. The words of the Kaddish Memorial Prayer on page 294. Our tradition is that we rise in sympathy with those who mourn and together recite words of praise hallowed by centuries of faith. Yit Gadal, Yit Gadash, Shemei Rabbah, Biyama Divrach Yirutei, Biyamlich Malchutei, Bechayi Chon, Ubiyomi Chon, Ubchayed Chol Beit Yisrael. Ba'agalau bisman kariv imru amen. Yehe shme rabba mevarach leolam ulameol maya. Yit barach vi ishtabach vi it paar vi it ramam vi it nase. Vi it adar vi it ale vi it alal shmeit kutsha barichu. 
Laela min kol bir chatav shirata tush bechatav nechamata da amiran bialma bimru amen yeh shlomo rab amin shemaya bechayim aleinu bial kol yisrael bimru amen o se shalom bimroma huya se shalom aleinu bial kol yisrael bial kol bnei adam bimru amen may the one who creates harmony on high Bring comfort to those amongst us who are mourning. May God, in answer to our prayers, bring peace to us, to all Israel, and to all humanity, to which we say, Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Again, words of welcome to all those who have shared Kabbalat Shabbat, welcoming this Sabbath uh, with us together. Uh, thanks to those who have participated in, in the service this evening. Thanks to Ruth Ann and Merdell for helping with the technology. Apologies that sometimes it doesn't always go the way that we had exactly planned. Um, we appreciate your, your indulgence. Uh, a few announcements tomorrow morning. Our Torah service is at, uh, at 10 a.m. on study. Torah, Torah study. What did I say? Torah service. Yeah. Torah study will be tomorrow morning at uh, 10 a.m. On, on Zoom. Um, Sunday afternoon and for the next several weeks, for those of you who might be interested, Michael Gervan is, is offering to, uh, to uh, host little musical events in, in his living room. Be in touch, be in touch with him if you're, if you're interested. A limited number of people socially distanced. Um, he puts on an, uh, an amazing, uh, creative, a talented uh, demonstration of, of music for all of us to share. Then there's a board meeting Monday morning. 10 o'clock on Zoom. 10 o'clock on, on Zoom. Uh, some of the th things that there's a Thanksgiving holiday. Yes. Right, yes. good. En en enjoy the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, and then the following Saturday will be Torah, Torah study. study again, not Torah <laughs> Torah. Torah service, uh, and then my Tellers of Tale class will continue again then on the first Thursday afternoon uh, in in December. Okay, I think those are the, oh, um, there's uh, uh, for the Pajama Project, and, uh, and right, uh, isn't there a, co a collection this week? Well, look for the information that the Men's Club is, or Social Action Committee. Is, is is collecting for the food bank as well as the uh, the pajama collection project. So uh, many of you know that uh, this little tradition that we've had is trying to find Adon Olam renditions from all over the world. Um, and I have to give a disclaimer for this one. I found it, and I found it. It's fascinating, but there was no indication of where it came from, of where these gentlemen. I think it's. I think it's listed as six cantors uh, joining together and taking turns with, uh, with, the, with the lead and singing each of the verses and, and whatever. It's very enjoyable, upbeat uh, celebration of Adon Olam, but I can't really tell you where in the world that it's from other than I know that it's not from North America. So we'll take it that way. And feel free to join, to join in. If you know the melody, recognize it, that's fine.
Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom, Shabbat Shabbat, Shabbat Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shabbat, Shabbat Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom. Good Shabbos to all. Thank you. I don't know about when Soprano was a castrati. <laughs>